dear students continuing with our lecture series on medicinal chemistry this is our 30th lecture on medicinal chemistry and uh, today we will discuss about the synthesis of some antipsychotic drugs uh, the antipsychotic drugs or neuroplastic agents uh, basically they are a class of psychotropic medicine uh, medication which is uh, primary use to manage psychosis and uh, psychosis uh, includes uh, delusions also hallucinations also paranoia also and uh, thought or uh, disorder of thought also uh, principally uh, in schizophrenia uh, but also in range of other psychotic disorders including bipolar disorders so uh, as i told you that uh, most of uh, the application of these neuroleptic uh, agents or antipsychotic drugs is uh, schizophrenia size of active disorder uh, most commonly in uh, combination with either an antidepressant uh, they are given whereas in case of uh, bipolar disorder also we can use these antipsychotic drugs uh, then psychotic de uh, depression then treatment of resistant depression so under all these uh, conditions uh, these types of uh, antipsychotic drugs or neuroleptic agents they are used for treatment of these diseases the first and most common among these uh, antipsychotic drugs is diazepam uh, diazepam uh, can be synthesized uh, most commonly from cyclocondensation of uh, this benzophenone derivative 2-5-chloro 2-5-chloro benzophenone when this is uh, condensed with ethyl amino acetate basically uh, this amino part will condense with this keto part and this keto part will condense with this amino part of the benzophenone and we will get these type of uh, these types of 1,4 benzodiazepine 2 ohm derivatives and then uh, and methylation of this 1,4 uh, benzodiazepine 2 ohm derivative with uh, dimethyl sulfate you, uh, we know that dimethyl sulfate is uh, very good methylation uh, methylating agent so uh, this will lead to N methylation so N methylated uh, one four benzodiazepine two ohm derivative this is called as diazepam so diazepam can be easily synthesized from nucleophilic addition uh, condensation of uh, amino and carbonyl systems next uh, is oxazepam uh, oxazepam uh, is again uh, similar to diazepam this is again 1,4 benzodiazepine uh, 3 ile acetate derivative so this is uh, synthesized from this type of uh, quinazoline uh, derivative uh, when this quinalazine uh, is uh, reacted under basic conditions uh, this undergo uh, ring expansion reaction to give us uh, benzodiazepine 2 ohm derivative and uh, this uh, one four benzodiazepine 2 ohm derivative then uh, undergo acetylation in presence of acetic anhydride because these uh, hydrogens present at this alpha uh, carbon to the carbonyl they are acidic in nature and then uh, because of the positive charge on this nitrogen also these uh, hydrogens present at this carbon they are acidic in nature so uh, a carbonyl will be generated and that will react with uh, uh, acetic anhydride and acetylation uh, will take place at this with rearrangement reaction so uh, this reaction is known as Plonovsky reaction then after the Plonovsky reaction uh, hydrolysis of this uh, ester with uh, sodium hydroxide will lead to 
oxides of form as the derivative. So this is basically hydroxy substituted uh, <coughs> one for benzodiazepine two or derivative. Then is uh, clonazepam. Clonazepam uh, is again similar to the first two drugs which we have uh, discussed and uh, this is again started from a benzophenone derivative. So here uh, 2 aminophenyl, 2 chlorophenyl uh, derivative. Uh, this is uh, reacted with uh, this acetyl uh, bromide alpha bromo 2 bromo acetyl bromide uh, this will react with this amino functional group at this pr from here h from here we will get this type of uh, alpha bromo amide which is formed when this uh, alpha bromo amide reacts with ammonia then ammonia will attack as a nucleophile at this carbon with the elimination of Br. Br from here, H from here the corresponding amine will be formed. Then uh, this uh, derivative in presence of uh, iridine as solvent will undergo condensation with this keto group to form uh, one four benzodiazepine two own derivatives as we have uh, seen in case of uh, diazepam and then uh, reaction under ST condition in presence of potassium nitrate uh, nitration uh, at the meta position of this uh, aromatic ring will take place and we will get clone as a palm as the product so this you can see similar to diazepam only uh, this step is additional that nitration of this aromatic ring takes place. Then is uh, alprazolam. Alprazolam uh, is also uh, one for benzodiazepine uh, derivative and here we start with 2,6-dichloroporphenyl cunuline derivative. When this uh, cunuline derivative is reacted with uh, hydrazine then uh, this halogen will be replaced by the hydrogen uh, hydrazine group over here and then uh, when this hydrazine derivative uh, is uh, boiled with uh, triethyl ortho acetate in xylene then uh, heterocyclization of this ring take place and we will get this type of triazole derivative. So uh, this triazole on oxidation with sodium paraiodate in ruthenium oxide uh, will lead to the formation of uh, this type of uh, breaking of uh, this carbon-carbon bond and uh, a benzophenone derivative containing a triazole ring is formed and this on uh, reaction with formaldehyde in presence of uh, PPR3 will lead to the formation of this alkyl halide on the triazole system and then uh, in presence of ammonia this will cyclize to give us uh, this type of 1,4-benzodiazepine derivative which is called as alprazole. So uh, we can very easily synthesize uh, synthesize alprazolum from 2,6-dichloroporphenyl quinoline in simple organic functional group transformations. Then is uh, uh, phenetone. Uh, phenetone is synthesized from the condensation of benzyl with uh, urea. So two amino groups they will uh, condense uh, with uh, this benzyl molecule and we will get phenetone as the product in as aqueous uh, basic medium in presence of aqueous sodium hydroxide 30% 
both of these they will condense to give us phenytoin uh, as the product then is ethoxymide ethoxymide is an anticonvulsant drug uh, which is uh, used uh, in the minor uh, forms of epilepsy so uh, this is basically a pyrrolidine 2,5-dione derivative and uh, this can be easily synthesized from simple organic condensation reactions in the first step uh, ethyl methyl ketone reacts with uh, cyanoacetic ester uh, through novangel uh, reaction conditions so uh, basically uh, a condensation reaction because of the presence of uh, these active methylene hydrogens which are acidic in nature so a carbonyl will be generated and that carbonyl will like at attack the electrophilic carbon at this place and ultimately two hydrogens from here and uh, oxygen what molecule of water will be removed through the condensation reaction and we will get this type of carbon-carbon uh, double bond formation and uh, then uh, this unsaturated arcane will undergo addition of HCN to this carbon carbon double bond and addition is uh, Markonic of addition we will get this type of alpha beta cyano compound and then this undergoes uh, hydrolysis under acidic conditions we know cyanide will be first hydrolyzed to amide and then amide will be further hydrolyzed to carboxylic acid and then uh, this dicarboxylic acid on reaction with ammonia will undergo cyclization uh, OH from here H from here then amide will be formed then that amide will further react with second molecule of uh, carboxylic acid and cyclization will take place with the elimination of water molecules. So two water, molecule, uh, two water molecules from here, OH from here, OH from here and uh, two hydrogens from here they are eliminated to give us these types of pyrrolidine 25 diodes which is called as ethoxymide as the product then is trimethodione trimethodione is 1,3-oxazolidine 2,4-dione derivative and this can again be synthesized by uh, this type of uh, simple organic compound 5,5 uh, ethyl 2-hydroxy-2-methyl propionate when this is condensed with uh, urea in presence of a strong base like uh, sodium ethoxide this will undergo condensation reaction at these places and we will get this type of 1,3 oxazolidine 2,4 diode and then this uh, oxazolidine 2,4 diode derivative will undergo N methylation at this place in presence of dimethyl sulfate and we will get this type of 3,5,5 trimethyl 1,3 oxazolidine 2,4 diode derivative which is called as trimethyl diode. So this is how a uh, simple type of uh, antipsychotic drugs they can be synthesized. Then is barbiturates. Uh, they are antidepressants and they are used uh, by depressing the central nervous system. So, uh, the uh, greatest danger with barbiturates is that uh, as with many drugs, they are uh, addictive in nature. So, that is why they are uh, rarely used barbiturates. But uh, uh, they have now been uh, replaced uh, by more safer benzodiazepine drugs which we have already seen disapont, oxazapont and other drugs. The uh, common among barbiturates is thiopental sodium 
so thiopental sodium or this is called as 5 methyl 5 1 methyl total 2 thio barbituric acid this one this is called as thiopental this can be easily synthesized uh, from the alkylation of uh, ethyl malonic ester this is ethyl malonic ester with 2 bromopentane when this is reacted in presence of a uh, strong base like sodium methoxide the hydrogen present over here is acidic hydrogen because of the presence of these two carbonyl system which are, which are electron withdrawing in nature and then this will generate a carbonyl and this carbonyl will attack this electrophilic carbon with elimination of bromine so nucleophilic substitution reaction will take place and we will get this type of uh, malonic ester will be formed. Then this uh, malonic ester derivative will react with the thiourea in uh, presence of sodium methoxide to give us thiopentyl sodium as the product. So this is how these barbiturates can be easily synthesized. Then is uh, glutathimide glutathimide uh, can be synthesized uh, from the Michael addition reaction of 2 phenyl butyronitrile to methyl acetate. So simple uh, again uh, this will act as an active methylene compound uh, this will generate a carbonyl which will undergo 1 to Michael addition at this place and we will get this type of cyanoester and this cyanoester will undergo hydrolysis and cyclization to give us uh, glutathimide as the product so this uh, piperidine 2 6 dione derivative is called as glutathimide so these are the references which have been used in preparing this lecture thank you very much